The veterans of that war are in their 80s and 90s, but many can still remember the event vividly, each with their own story. Tonight, two news multimedia journalist John Guthrie tells the tale of one airman from Tulsa. June 6, 1944. Paul Hewitt was there. It was an experience that you'll never forget as long as you live. Paul was a tech sergeant with 50th Wing, the 441st Group, 301st Squadron. Paul says that the one thing that he feared most about his mission was... You know, mister, flak is the worst thing I ever saw. Flak from the AA guns could shake things up for these flying boys. The whole sky is nothing but flak with boom, boom, boom with flak. If you caught one under kind of under a wing, it just tipped the airplane up on the other wing. Paul said that he had one really close call. It came up uh, underneath, split the valve on my May West, and tore up my uh, shirt and stopped right up here in my chest. I still have the bullet, in fact. <laughs> then it never cuts the skin. And there was a nice reward for them when they made it back to base. They had a big, big shot of whiskey for us. That that kind of cool kind of helped cool you down a little bit. And there was another bonus. I had two members on my crew that didn't drink. Did they answer that? I was crew chief. Guess who got their booze? <laughs> John B. Guthrie.